hey guys welcome back to some brand new arc here on our ultimate arc series and uh today we're gonna be taming up a bunch of dire wolves hopefully at least um i found a 150 so i'm bringing this thing back to my little taming pen which is over here i thought it was further up this way i don't even know my own base location uh so we have a little taming pen right here and i want to just drop this thing in and get it taming immediately and uh, we're going to be trying to tame up a few direwolves here today because I want to actually do some breeding and get some really good direwolves for some just like basically like caving, gathering, uh, all sorts of things essentially. So ooh, let's get out of there. Sweet. Alrighty. So let's start off by just knocking out this thing. And uh, if you guys remember, we actually tamed direwolf at the very start of the series. But unfortunately, that thing died in the last episode to I think it was a raptor. Oh my god, what? That didn't count? That's so dumb. Oh, man. Alrighty. Well, anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. That's the second dart that didn't count. What the hell's happening, game? Okay, that one counted. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe I'll just bowl of this thing and just keep it still. That could be better. That way I don't waste uh, anything, really. Let's go over here and do this. Oh, my God. Why is OBS running the game at such low frames? My game's frames are fine. I don't even understand. Alrighty, let's see. Bola. Just craft one of these for the moment. Alrighty. And. Sweet. Let's put that right here. And I want to try and get some headshots because I do believe you're able to get headshots on dire wolves. Wait for it to like come over here or something. Probably not going to. Alright, I'll just keep it still then. Sweet, yeah, that, that worked actually. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm using Trank Darts because I figure if I try to use Trank Arrows, it's I might end up killing some of these things and I really don't even want to try to kill them. I want to definitely tame all these high levels for sure without any mistakes. Um, let me see. I don't believe, I think Darwolves in general, oh my God, that's another dart that's just getting wasted. Ugh. I think Darwolves are a little bit easier to tame than the Saber, Sabertooth because the saber that's another one that's four so far what the mm. game come on what like what is this crap i have to hit them in specific spots to actually make it count that's so stupid but yeah sabers are just so annoying to tame because occasionally you'll almost kill them if you're using like anything primitive pretty much i do believe that trank darts actually managed to do it but probably just barely um darwolves i don't think are I don't I think sometimes I've almost killed them I think the one that we did tame a few episodes ago we almost killed with the trank arrows but I don't know darts are a lot more expensive and I really don't have means to get a bunch of narcotic right now but I don't know we're just also running kind of out of uh spoilt meat at this stage so I just need a really good creature to get just gather tons and tons of meat all the time so yeah this will definitely help out a lot the Anki is actually decent enough at gathering the narco berries for me, and I've been using that along with the morel tops a little bit. How many of these darts are actually going to miss or not count, though? This is getting ridiculous. Let me check. How many more shots am I going to have to put into you? Ugh, a few more. God damn it. If it would just, you know, just stay still for a second, I could get some headshots that might count. That was a headshot, just didn't count as one. What is happening? Okay, there we go. It's probably about to knock out here. Say one more dart, if anything. Okay, let's use Trank Arrows from here then. Oh, come on, are you not out yet? Oh. Oh, just barely. There we go, sweet. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna leave you to starve out a little bit. I don't believe that they don't drain that quick i don't think so so what i want to do is i want to actually head out and try to find some more decent level dire wolves but i won't go too far because i don't want that thing to wake up um so there's just tons around here i've been trying to kill them as we go along um i don't think i actually see any right now do not believe that there are any right here but there's tons all over the place and i don't think it's going to be too long before we find another half decent level um so that was a 150 obviously max level uh i will settle for pretty much anything like 125 up to 150 should be good uh those types of levels will definitely 
have some decent stats in them and that's what i want to do i want to combine all the good stats from whatever dire wolves we get here today and then try to breed those into a line of dire wolves to have like a little hunting pack essentially for just everything pretty much uh but especially caves because caves are gonna be quite difficult to do on foot especially by myself so i definitely want like a dire wolf or something in there with me and i don't believe a thyla will fit so dire wolf would be perfect um oh, that's a level 10 saber i'm being just looking around for sabers as well i don't really have plans to tame one but i mean if we find a good level one we might as well just tame it don't know what level you are so let's just pick you up anyway oh you're poop get out of here so uh yeah i might just bring you guys back if we find something good and uh if not then i'll bring you guys back once we get that dara wolf fully tamed up let's see nothing nothing so it actually hasn't been too long since the last clip but uh we found a 135 dara wolf we're just bringing it back now i don't actually think i'm gonna have enough stam to make this trip though <laughs> We're really close though I, you know what maybe is my pen like right up here is a further down it's really hard to tell i don't know this area that well oh i don't think we're gonna have enough stam for this oh we're so close though you know what i'm i'm gonna try i think we might be able to make it here let's see oh oh yeah we did it <laughs> all right so that was awesome um uh you can rest there agent travis let's go grab another bola um bola and then pull for one of those sweet Alrighty, so my other direwolf there should be almost or i think it probably would be ready to tame if i gave it some food so i might actually do that now in a minute we're gonna just quickly knock out this one so you're a female what are you oh you're also a female okay that's good i mean hopefully we can get a really high level male with some good stats all right that was a headshot sweet go for another nice yeah let's just keep hammering in these headshots here so i probably have some prime on my rg but probably not enough to get the uh barrel fully tamed up the other one so i don't know i might actually have to look up how many pieces i'm gonna need on these rates for that 150 just before i attempt to feed it okay let's uh let's take a look at your thing all right you're almost there you know what? I'll go with some Trank Arrows from here. Should be alright to use these. Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't accidentally shoot the other one. <laughs> that would be a pain. Alright. <sighs> Look at that. It hit. It definitely hit. It's in its side. It just doesn't count. That one too. That one hit its tail. Okay. I think I missed that one because I accidentally pulled it up a bit. Yeah, it's in the door, but... The other ones should have counted. I'm suing Ark. Okay. Just hitting its head from here not count, apparently. <laughs> uh, Alright, come on. What are you at? Oh, you're almost there. One more dart or one more uh, arrow should do it. Kind of nervous about shooting it if it's like right here, though. Let's shoot like right there. Okay. Good. Alrighty, so yeah, you're probably pretty much ready to be tamed, I would say. I might just double check and then I'll go ahead and feed it, uh, but I will, I definitely don't have enough prime on you, do I? I killed a couple Rexes and stuff. Yeah, I have one piece left. Oh my god, alright. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to go out and kill some Parasers uh, to try and get some prime. They're pretty much like the best way of getting it on here, to be honest. Uh, that or killing wyverns is also great but obviously i'm in no way ready to do that so i can't do that right now carno would give me a little bit but probably not enough i might as well kill it though um i don't see any parsers nearby usually down around there has a couple so yeah i'm gonna gather up a little bit of prime and try to get this thing all tamed up and speaking of prime to be honest i should really look into getting some salt so we can get some um preserving salt made up and use that to preserve the prime a little bit better because otherwise i'm like rushing back and forth constantly with the uh with the stuff to actually feed the creatures that i'm trying to tame which is just a massive pain so definitely need to be getting some preserving salt but i don't actually know but you know what i think i can hit the bones to get some right i can get that from the bones 
Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Sweet. So I might actually grab... I do have some sulfur. It's sulfur and salt to make it, right? Uh, oh, I can't, I, you make it in the mortar and pestle, don't you? Perfect. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to make up a bunch of that just to help me out. And um, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Anything else around here? No? All right. <laughs> So, I've got a bunch of sleeping direwolves, and I found the sheep out on my travels. So, we're gonna kill this up, and then feed all of our direwolves here. To go ahead and just properly kill it. So, mutton obviously will give me an extra level. Um, I'm losing like two levels. One from just generic, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you know what, it'd probably be better to harvest with this. We're losing a level just because, you know, you never can get 100% on a team. And then we're losing another level because it's prime. So this will give me one extra level onto the team. So definitely worth doing. Let's not gather it all up just yet because some of it will spoil then. Um, so I've got two 145s knocked out here and they are both males. And then I've also got a 130 female as well. So let's just feed this one first. Don't know how many pieces they'll need. Looks like it does around 20% per. So that should be more than enough there. Sweet. Alrighty, so you are... Okay, stats aren't too bad. Let me get you out of here really quick. Okay, never mind. I'm too heavy. I'll leave you right there for the moment. Alright, let's uh, feed this one next. So let's give it six pieces just in case. Yeah, looks like it will need around six. Alrighty. Okay, and one more. Bam. Sweet. All right, so let me check you. You know what? Actually, let's get them all together, and then we'll check them out. So pretty good look on the Darwolves here today. Um, I've also been looking out for a good level RG, but haven't found anything so far, which sucks, but whatever. We'll find something eventually. I might need to check around the Red Obelisk area. That area seems to be pretty good for this stuff. Um, let me get all of these guys out of here. Just gotta remember to close the gate because I forgot to do that when I moved out the two that I had tamed over there. So let me just close this. And you know what? They're all following me anyway. Let's just bring them all over. So I might actually just try to cook up some of the other stuff there. All of that mutton. I might just drag the body over beside my campfire. Although I might be able to make a grill right now. What are they doing? What is happening? Why aren't you following me? Oh, I did the freaking unfollow, didn't I? I didn't mean to do that. All right, cool. I actually, I just hit that button by uh, accident or whatever. So let's just leave them there for the moment. I might actually be able to make a grill. Let's see. Uh, grill. So I know I have a decent amount of cementing paste. Oh, I need oil. Oh, that's perfect. Because we've got our oil vein thingy over here. And we definitely have tons of oil in it by this stage. Let me see. Nothing dangerous over here, right? We gotta actually work on fortifying our area a little bit. Maybe building up some gates. Uh, oh, lovely. Okay, we don't actually have a huge amount. Maybe that doesn't work when I'm offline. Probably doesn't because there's not a huge amount in it. But, I mean, that's enough for the moment. So, let's chuck this into the fabricator and get ourselves a grill. That way we can cook up all of that mutton all at once. Because that stuff's a really good food source. So, grill... Uh, let's get the S plus one. Sweet. Alrighty. I'll just place that, like, over here for the moment. We can get rid of our campfire. Although that's kind of in the way. <laughs> what am I thinking? Alright, over here, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. And we're gonna need one of these, and we're gonna need to turn you off. Alright. And then let's dump all this into here. Okay, so maybe I'll hop onto a Darwolf to actually harvest up the, um... The Ovis, because that would probably be a little bit better than using my pick. Although, I don't know, actually. You know what? It's probably not. Let me use my pick instead. Eh, yeah, this seems to be slightly better. Alrighty. So, we're getting a lot of pelt, which is nice. Although, I don't really think that's very useful over here. Uh, oh, I can't ride on you. Alright, well, just give me... Oh, you ate the freaking mutton. Damn it, that was stupid. I completely forgot that he was hungry. All right, let's dump all this into here then. We got a couple pieces of lamb. It's fine. It's not a huge amount, but it's okay. We got a lot of uh, 
hide and freaking pelt as well sweet also for some reason my water jars and things aren't decreasing in water and i i think maybe is it something to do with the fact that i'm in the shade but like i've also been going out and about and it hasn't been happening so i don't understand like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because all the time they've been like decreasing so i don't understand but anyway uh, we haven't had any like heat waves or anything and actually you know what i haven't had an event happen since i logged onto the server so yeah i don't know we yeah we're just not losing water for some reason i don't know maybe that's a bug or something but yeah i just filled them up like as we were starting the episode like just two minutes before so i don't know it's really weird Let's get all these things lined up and then we'll check out the stats so some pretty good levels so far uh there's two males to choose from in terms of stats and then there's three females so let's take a look at the health uh, so we have 2700 on that male he's still the best oh 2800 on this one here all right so best health essentially on this one um what is yours 2838 so we gotta get closer to name it so health uh 28 38 i'm just gonna copy that just in case Alrighty. so best health uh best stam we have 1170 1274 okay so 1274 is the best stam and it's on this female what oh, crap all right yeah get closer 1274 uh, we need the s before that sweet all righty so best uh i'll go for the best melee and then i'll see what the best weight is uh oh 340 oh dude this one's really good and that's on a male which is super handy um so let's have a look at the best weight then so 255 299 to be honest i probably would need the best weight because that's gonna help us out yeah so 299 is the best weight and it's on this male so weight 299 melee 340 340 all righty so uh you're the only direwolf that doesn't have any of the good stats and you seem to be the 130 right yeah it was the 130 so we're gonna put this one over here technically we don't need this anymore and if you guys watch my recent uh breeding like i, I guess mutations explain kind of breeding super dinos video it's um it's more of like an explainer video with less actual in-game stuff and more just like information and everything. So if you guys watch that, you'll understand what we're doing right here. We're just combining all the best stats. So what we've got is we've got two males with good stats and two females with good stats, which is perfect right now because what we have to do is breed this female with one of the males. Let's breed it with the weight one. And then we can breed the other female with the other male. So it's absolutely perfect. So we need a either male or female from this one and then the opposite gender on the other one over here so we'll see what we get and uh we'll just obviously have to oh, crap we just line you up probably properly i can't even speak i need to get rid of this freaking dodic he's just sitting here let's do that and then i don't know you know what i'll use my rg and just pick him up and carry him away uh so we can start the breeding process now uh, let me just put you over here. Just get out of my base, buddy. <laughs> Stop trying to start this video. So we can start the breeding process, and uh, hopefully we get lucky with this. So enable mating. Enable mating. And then, you know what? I kind of don't want them being on top of bushes, just so I can see the creatures that they're popping out. So I'm going to put them over here. So in terms of stats, we're not looking too bad on the final Dara Wolves that we'll be using. I don't know if I want to stack a crap ton of mutations on these. I 100% want to get a few mutations, but uh, I don't know how far I want to go with it. Probably not too far. So they are mating up. So we're going to have a creature with 28, 38 health. Uh, what is that? 1274 stamina, 299 weight, and 340 melee. So the melee is decent. It's not amazing, but it is pretty good. Um, we could probably keep trying to get some more dire wolves to try and get better stats but i think these will do for now so uh yeah we're just gonna obviously do the whole process here and i'll bring you guys back when we're actually uh in business with some really good dire wolves later 
So, uh, yeah, see you then. Okay, so we're back, and it's a little while later, and we have ourselves a mutated direwolf. Actually, we got twins, so... I imprinted on one of them, and then I left the other one uh, aside right here. So we got a melee mutation on top of what we already had in terms of all the amazing stats that we combined. And uh, so I'm going to continue to breed those in the background. But right now, what I want to do is I'm going to take out the twin and then these other three direwolves that I managed to fully imprint. And we're going to head out into the desert and try to collect up some stuff. Mainly chitin. Chitin is something that I really need right now. I don't have very much of it, and uh, I keep needing to use it to actually craft up some ending paste. And we're going to need a decent amount of that going forward, because I want to try and rush and try to get myself a, uh, what are they called, industrial forge and all those other bits. So, yeah, we're going to head over here and try to get ourselves some chitin and maybe kill some stuff on the way, like uh, this stupid raptor. Let's give our guys a pack bonus here. All right, sweet. So, I did try to imprint a crap ton of these things, but uh, only four of them actually managed to fully get imprinted. It's kind of difficult to imprint when you don't have kibble, uh, but they do ask for other things and occasionally ask for a walk or like a, a cuddle or whatever. So, we managed to imprint a good amount of them here, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's just make sure we don't lose any of them on the way down here. And let's kill this Pariser on the way as well. Of these <laughs> oh damn all right so let's go yeah let's kill this one as well we might as well die oh man all right and then you none of these power stirs deserve to live oh man <laughs> so i'm really hoping we don't run into a death worm out there but uh if we do we might end up losing all these star wolves which would be fine i mean they're uh replaceable but it would be a big pain if we had to try to fight a death worm. I might try to get away if we actually do run into one, to be honest, because it's not a good idea to try and fight one with dire wolves. They're, they're good, but they're just not amazing, and death worms do a huge amount of damage. Uh, so we got to actually make sure that we're, that we're actually uh, giving these guys their points. So you've only got one. I'll give... Hmm, I'll just pump melee on them. So some of the stats are updating, obviously, because they got imprinted. So I'm going to put melee on them for now, and then I'm going to try and get their health up to like 5k. But melee at the very start could be handier, because then we can get more levels. Um, so for the one that we're on, I'll go ahead and give you just a couple levels into health, and then summon to melee. Alright, cool. So follow me. What is that? Howl cooldown. Alright, cool. Ooh and hop off and hop back on no okay well we didn't take the fall damage so we we have all of our guys where's the last one where is oh what is that what is this event that is a wyvern up there what is that one i think that's a sandstorm coming all right, well, I guess I'll just wait till after the sandstorm to go out because there's no point of going out here in a sandstorm. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for that to be over. Ugh. And then we'll be back. Okay, so let's head out here. Um, I've just noticed I still have the Howl cooldown in the corner for some reason. It's on zero, though. I don't know why that's up there. I haven't howled for, like, several minutes since, uh, since that sandstorm started. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird how it's still there. Let's bring our dudes over here, though. Are you coming? All right, cool. So let's go kill this mantis. Come on, boys. Get in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, scorpions are everywhere. Let's kill everything that we can see here because we're going to need just so much chitin. And Darwolves are pretty good for gathering it. I didn't gather anything off that, though. They must have ate it or something. I have no clue. The guys are stealing my chitin. That's okay. Um, Sweet. Come on, boys. Over here. I'm going to send them at the Arthros over there. Just because I don't want to run in and potentially break my armor. So you can go in and attack that thing there. There's people screaming outside. Interesting. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully you guys had, can't hear that, but it's really warm and, and I need my window open because my god, I, this office is ridiculously hot with my PC. <laughs> Come on. Die, you stupid Arthro. Sweet. Might as well kill some of these guys and get ourselves a little bit of spoiled meat, except I didn't get any there. Cool. Uh, what else do we got out here? Passed up a couple scorpions on the way, but it's all right. Let's um, send them in to attack those things. Maybe they'll kill the vultures to me. I think they got them. Yep. Scorpions over here. And we got some Titan bows over there as well. They're actually pretty good for prime. So whenever I need prime, I can actually come out here with the dire wolves and get all of that. You know what? You guys attack this and I will attack this thing. No, no, no. Kill the Arthro. Ugh. All right. I'll do it then. <laughs> all right. Kill this guy then. No. Kill. Uh, watch out. The freaking spit just annoys me, so I don't ever want to get hit by that. Like, breaking the armor with the spit was the worst design choice ever. I mean, it's, it's interesting as, like, a mechanic, but... God, it's annoying. <laughs> I wish it didn't break the armor as much. Like, it just shreds your armor apart. It doesn't even matter. Uh, let's see. All right. We got more mantis up here. Probably going to get a little bit of heat stroke here at some stage. I would say. Get in here, everybody. Kill this one as well. Sweet. Oh, his body's like flying all over the place. All right. Let's get some of these scorpions. There's actually a bunch of them over here. And a scorpion egg. I might actually pick that up. Might as well. We gotta actually plant some crops here at some point soon. That would have been smart. I should have done that already. Because <laughs> I want to try and get myself uh, some kibble. Like farms and stuff going at some point as well. So... Yep, that would have been smart. I should have done that already. God damn it. All right. Let's see. Got some more scorpions over here. That didn't work. All right. And another mantis. Oh, there's another one over there as well. I might try to craft some stuff with this polymer, actually. I think we need like 400 polymer for the... What is it called? The... Industrial Forge. About 400 polymer, I do believe. So, if I have around that amount and I can make whatever amount of uh, cementing paste I'm going to need, then I could probably get that going. Although, you know what, actually? I wanted to craft a chemistry bench before I crafted the forge, just because I can make more cementing paste for the same amount of materials that I'll need. Because, obviously, the uh, chemistry bench gives you, like, what is it, 50% extra for whatever amount that you use, so... A lot better to actually craft with that thing instead of just crafting normally. Uh, let me see. Anything good in that bag? Always worth checking. I could grab a couple arrows or something. I don't know if the venom's any use to me. It probably isn't, actually. Let's drop that. And I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to just drop everything else. I'll get more meat. Die. Sabers. We got time bow over there. Got a couple of these guys. Let me actually... Oh, you know what? We'll kill the snake and then I want to check and just see how much stuff we have so far. Okay. Let me see. Everybody stand still. Let me just take all of this. Drop that. I'm going to pump two levels into help. Bam, bam. Take this and this and all of these goodies. You know what? I'll just drop the rest. They can gather more meat at some stage. This one's got a lot. Nice. All right. So I actually have to drop some of the stuff back onto one of the direwolves. So let's put all of the organic pollen. Let's put all of the stuff that we have that's useful onto this one specifically. Uh, let me just go Titan, Bam, Org, 
Bam. And then the hide's already in there. Sweet. Alrighty, so that's pretty good haul right now. Um, we're obviously going to need tons of chitin. But that's a pretty good start for the moment. Let's go out here and kill these scorpions. Okay. What is that over there? Is that a bag or an egg? That's oh, a bag. Let's kill this vulture. Oh, come on. Kill the vulture. There we go. Sweet. All right. Um, what else is out here? Oh, hey. Lots of scorpions, lots of mantis. Perfect. Exactly what we need. All right, let's fight the mantis and then we'll head back in and grab the scorpions. Eat all these guys. What about this one? There we go. Oh, that's a death worm. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't know if we can kill it. You know what? Let's try. Let's just try. How much damage is he doing? How much damage? I can't even see. It's not even saying. Oh, we might be able to kill this thing. Can I give the howl thingy? Oh, how do I do that? It's right click, right? There we go. Come on, boys. Get in there. Oh, we're totally going to lose some darwolves here. This might work though. Yes, we've got it. Oh, we killed it. Sweet. All right. That was actually really good. We killed it. I didn't think that we would. <laughs> I kind of just, I know I said we weren't going to, but I kind of just panicked when I saw it. I was thinking I'm not going to be able to get away from this thing. <laughs> oh, all right. We killed it. Sweet. What do we get? Actually? Did we even grab its bag? Probably not. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, nice. All right. Death room horn. I don't know if they're going to be any use to me in this series because I don't know if I'm going to bother taming a mantis. Like, I don't see the use for one. So, yeah, probably not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that's a lot of organic polymer. Um, Get you up to 5k. Sweet. All right. I must have got the kill on this one. All right. So, let me see. What do you have? And I'll leave all that meat on you. Oh, wow. You're actually quite hurt. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. This one here doesn't have any levels. And all right, cool. I guess I'll just chuck all this stuff into you. And we might head back now because that battle was quite close for some of these star wolves. Not extremely close, but, you know, close enough. Probably too close for comfort. I mean, <laughs> we could have easily lost all of them. Uh, it was a good idea that I remembered about the pack bonus because that really helped out there. We can do a hell of a lot more damage with that pack bonus. All right, let's kill this thing. Yeah, die. All right, we got it. Let's grab some of these guys before we head back. And, uh... Yeah, die. <laughs> so much chitin. Look at that. That is crazy. You get so much from Mantis. Definitely the best creatures to be killing if you need chitin. So, um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And like I said, we're going to be working on Darwolf mutations and stuff in the background. And hopefully we can show some of that off on camera as well. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today. Catch you in the next one.